Hello, my name is Chris Kautz. I'm a freelance character artist and a moderator on CGTalk.com and GameArtist.net where my screen name is Kanga. This is a test area I made for um, the character which we're going to use for the videos and for the demo. At the moment she's using a third person camera that we can uh, zoom in orbit with. The code for the camera was kindly supplied by Syntax Error and Online Offworld over at the UDK forum. Now, these tutorials will deal with uh, starting off a character using one method called Z-Spheres found in ZBrush. Whether characters are for use in high resolution environments or low resolution ones, the beginning is the same. Up to the point where there is a high resolution model, with the right amount of detail, the paths separate. Higher poly models have displacement and normal maps created for them and they'll mostly be constructed from quad polys. Whereas the models intended for game engines have their meshes optimized and also rely on texture maps for representation of detail but are constructed from triangles. There's a lot of effort that goes into getting the highest visual effect for the lowest resolution. I'll be showing you the way towards uh, getting a model started so you know how to end up with a high resolution sculpt. The full screen videos will have instruction contents and there will be half size videos in between where you can see me rotating the model around and pulling and pushing vertexes into what I hope is the right shape. There won't be instruction on how to texture or rig or animate, also no instruction on how to install the game engine, export your character and change code in the engine to get them working. There's enough information about that. Finding that information though isn't always easy, so I'll show you where to look. In this series I'll be concentrating on the game direction. In the next series I'll focus on the high resolution path. The things we'll be concentrating on are starting off a character in ZBrush using Z spheres, creating and using a size template in 3ds Max to keep objects the right size when going between applications, starting the character sculpt off at a low resolution, exporting that character to 3ds Max and correcting it so that we can use all the great ZBrush functions, how to create clothing and accessories for the character and keep them at the right size and orientation. The light in UDK is absolutely amazing. The light volumes are really beautiful. I'm changing the uh, uh, shadow color. Very soft shadows. You might not see it in the screen capture, but this is very, very smooth. Let's get into ZBrush. If you're opening up ZBrush for the first time, you should go to the Pixelogic Classroom and you should view the Getting Started tutorials. It will save you an awful lot of time. Here are the Getting Started uh, tutorials. That they cover every aspect, almost every aspect of using ZBrush. I've also got ZBrush information, which is written documentation. If I go to ZBrush and ZBrush info, then you'll find this section. And if you say you wanted to use ZSphere's You could enter that in the search, search function. And here you have search results. If I click on ZSphere basic controls, see I've got a point-by-point -point explanation. 
what you're going to need to follow the tutorials here are some plugins so go to the download center and click on ZBrush plugins if you scroll down you'll see the first one we need is GoZ and that's an interface between 3D Max and uh, ZBrush 4 it really doesn't matter if you're using uh, Modo or Cinema or Maya you can also follow along with these tutorials the principles are exactly the same for all the software the only thing that really changes are where the buttons are so the first one you'll need is GoZ and the second one we're going to need is Decimation Master we need Decimation Master to reduce the poly count of a copy of our model so that we can draw on it in 3D Max really quick uh, uh, intro for those who are impatient so I'll click on Z-Sphere, click and drag in the viewport first thing I'm going to do is click on edit and then I'm going to hide my light box click on floor now I have a floor in my viewport I'm going to click on perspective and choose an orbiting method okay navigation we've got our z-sphere in the viewport if I click on the z-sphere something will happen alright so navigation is clicking in the viewport off the model I can rotate around the model if I have my brush if I have a Wacom tablet and I have my uh, my pointer over the model I can right click without touching the Wacom and orbit so that's good for if you're really really close to a, a model and you want to orbit then you can always right click and float over the model instead of clicking on it to pan alt and right click to zoom control alt right click and move the mouse up and down in the viewport okay saving a model if I want to save my progress and I click a control S I'll get a dialog which lets me save my progress as a .zpr that's a ZBrush project file mostly I'll be using the Z tool as a model format save as here in the right corner I'll get a .ztl file. ZTools save information like uh, UV information, texture information, morph, uh, layer, a lot of an awful lot of information. But there's a difference between the two, so it's good if you, it's a good idea to read up on the difference between the two formats. But mostly we'll be using this one, save as. If I exit uh, the ZBrush application. I'll get the option to save the document. The document is just a two-dimensional representation of what you see here in the viewport. You won't be using that very often, if at all, so no to that. And we'll see you in the up-and-coming videos.